welcome to another episode of Big Lou and Cousin Vito Eats, where Big Lou it's me. and Cousin Vito we eat. We are heading to Chipotle, 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 Chipotle today. Lou has ordered us something, another thing I can't pronounce, there's all cops around the back of this place. Uh, so we're going to Chipotle, we're getting the guacahilo steak it looks like. Guajillo steak. Which, Guajillo. Guajillo. So, there you go. You no, got there's it. nobody parked here. Excellent. So, it looks like it's a, a garlic peppery steak uh, uh, with the Guajillo pepper. There's some sort of Guajillo pepper that's yes. tasty, I guess. Supposedly. It's, it's uh, Chipotle's new steak option. Let's we see. missed the pollo, uh, the pollo asado that was here last time. So, uh, this is our first time at Chipotle doing the uh, doing the show, so uh, we did not get a burrito, because I am not going to let Vito cut open a burrito <laughs> in my car and just bleed everywhere with that, so we good. got a couple tacos. So we grabbed a, a taco order with the guajillo steak, I got it with the, um, the tomato salsa, the hot salsa, the sour cream, lettuce and cheese on soft tacos. I so. literally have been to Ch Ch Chipotle, Chipotle like once or twice, and I'm always just like, I don't know, put that on, put that on. So you just this point. Is, this is new to me. I don't really go go here much, so. All right, so I'm gonna. Seems go cool. Seems trendy. Posh. I enjoy Chipotle. I mean, sometimes it's a little wet. Some of the food's a little uh, wet. Sometimes. That mean? Well, you open up the burrito. That's why I don't want the burrito. When you open it up, it's just Mwah, and just uh, go know. everywhere. That's why I don't want that. Well, you were ordering around. like a pro. He was in the phone. Bop, boop, beep, yeah. beep, bop, bop, bop. All of a sudden, he's all set. No it's cards, no nothing. I like this going where Lou eats because he orders it on his phone. He, he absorbs all the costs. <laughs> yeah. The food should be ready in two minutes, so I'm going to go grab it right now, and then I'll come back. I and like this we'll where it. I get to sit in the car and not pay. This is like the best. Must be nice. So. It's great. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> it took a while. Maybe it's fresh. What, they got a slaughter the steak before they gave you the, uh, the, the gajillo over I mean, there? They were taking their time. They had a bunch of orders, too. What is with us grabbing food on Sunday and just that's orders? The thing. Well, that's the new thing is people like being lazy, sitting in their car, punching in their phone instead of going and ordering like a real human being. But while you were going, I did some research on the gajillo pepper. Guajillo. What's the dip? What am I saying? You're saying gajillo. Gua. There's a U in there. So like guacamole. Yes. The gajillo pepper. It's it's a dried form of some other pepper I can't pronounce. It has a complex, fruity, smoky flavor, smooth, leathery skin, medium spiciness, ranging from 2,500 to 5,000 Scoville heat units. What okay. makes it spicier than a poblano, but more mild than a jalapeno. The steak... Uh, let's see, bottom, it comes from all over. Bottom round, top round, eye of rounds, inside rounds, outside rounds, sirloin, knuckle, ball tip, sirloin, I swear to God. This what is, are you doing? This is on the Chipotle, oh, but it's the UK site, so maybe they're a little more uh, descriptive. So we're getting some ball tip in there too, I guess. Uh, lots around, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a, it's a whatever. It's a, it's, a, it's a combination of garlic and the guajillo. Okay, so again, we, we got, got it as bag. tacos. I don't need to use the cutting board. At no, least, we're gonna need the top. We're gonna need the cutting board. Well, we're, we're gonna, gonna do need, we're gonna need the surface. The surface because I when I because the guy was making them as I walked in there. So, and you know how I said I don't want the burrito because they're a little wet. These are gonna be a little wet. Right, I've never heard of a, a wet taco. I don't know what what's going on in there. There's a lot of liquid going on. It's you're really not. Thing. You're really not making the the, the guajillo appetizing. It's more here. so just the way that Chipotle does things. Because you're looking right here, right now. So what's the wetness from the the lettuce? The sour cream, oh. the salsa. There's a lot of liquid in the way that you Chipotle can, you does be, things. Why don't you use like a, you know? It's like a, um, I guess juicy, mo juicy, moist. You want to say moist? You want to use the word moist? Well, it's better than the wet taco. I mean, I don't know. You want a moist? Big Lou and his wet taco. <laughs> All right. You want, so what you do want cousin do? Vito and his let's moist scoff down taco? The, let's scoff down the guajillo here. Okay. The guaji, the so guaji. there are there are three tacos here. So I'll let you pick which taco you want. I don't know which one's the wettest. <laughs> the first one actually looks like the wettest. Oh, I just dropped some lettuce. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll go with this one that's smushed on the end here. It looks like it was hit by a truck. Oh my God. You all right? You got it. I don't know. It's awfully wet. <laughs> all right. What am I gonna do here with this thing? I don't know. I'll grab the one on the end. I guess I'll grab the. Oh my God. It is. All right. Am I using the cutting board? Am I eating over a bag? Do you want the cutting board? I don't care what we do here. I'm gonna just drop all the lettuce into your car either way. So. All right. So you can see some of the guajillo. He's got the wrapper. Seasoning. He's got the cutting board. I'm eating out of a bag, like some sort of like some sort of. You, bag it's of me doing that. So God forbid I pay for the food. I get to use the cutting board. My all goodness. Right. What'd you get on here? We got cheese, lettuce. 
We got some tomato. The, tom the tomato salsa, the hot salsa they right, use, and sour one. cream. I'm gonna pull off a piece of steak here. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that was gonna be sick. That looks pretty good. It was a guajillo, let's see. Should I do it? Should I bite it? Yeah, take a bite. Flavorful. I mean, there's a flavor to it. Definitely not adding. A, mm, I guess in the back end, there is a little bit of heat, too. A little spice. Not bad. All right, we'll give it a shot. All right. Here we go. Uh, chin Chin. <laughs> what, what do they say? We should come up. We should do uh, Chin Chins from around the world. I got a Chin Chin hanging on my sweater right now. <laughs> Oh! What happened? It went mostly in the back. <laughs> Did you add anything spicy to this? Yeah, the, the, the hot salsa. Oh, well, that's the spice I'm down. <laughs> well, the hot salsa. Like, wow, this steak really has a spice to it. All right, so you got some hot salsa in there. Hot sauce or hot salsa? I guess I can read on the bag here. Here's a Lou order. For Lou, soft taco flour, GG steak, mild tomato, hot red, sour cream cheese, lettuce. Not the worst. Hot red sauce. <laughs> what sauce? You are like the biggest wuss when it comes. I, mean, I don't know what happened. To death here. What is I going used to on? have no problem with hot sauce. Yeah, this thing is a mess, huh? I rolled it up into a little taquito. Is that what this is? Could that be it? If I drip it in the fryer, it might be. There you go. It works great. We're sitting in the car, like two idiots eating. And then opposite us, there's two other people sitting in the window facing us eating. Yeah. I wonder if their conversation is like our conversation. Probably not, because they're inside without a camera in their face. Mm -hmm. It looks like a guy and a girl on a little Sunday date. Oh. Trendy. I mean, I don't Where's know. Where's your taco? Where'd it go? It's here. There's just a lot of sour. There's a lot yeah. of the wetness in the bag, I guess. Yeah. I mean, look, this, this is a bit of the remnant from what happens when you open these things up. It's like everywhere. The remnant. Well, look at that. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff that's left over. And there's still a full taco in here. I mean, I, this might be the least appetizing <laughs> description we've done. L the wet tacos, loose zooming in on the remnants of them. I'm eating into a barf bag here. <laughs> First of all, I guess you're eating that second taco since you're getting all your um, all your debris I mean, everywhere. Get, you all your remnants are all over unless it. Unless you want to split the taco. Gonna... No, I don't want to split that thing. Hang on, a piece of lettuce. All right. So while you're sitting there sloshing around, whatever you're doing, I'm gonna I'll start thinking. I mean, this was good. The way you ordered it has something to do with it. I do like the spice. Oh, I liked it. Look at this. Big Lou or Cousin Vito. They don't know who it is. My thoughts is that was tasty. I mean, it wasn't yeah. bad. It was wet, moist, whatever you want to call it. Creamy. But it was good. I mean, comparatively, I don't know. I mean, it obviously was it was definitely more flavorful than anything we've ever gotten at Taco Bell. Yeah. But I've enjoyed Taco Bell stuff before. Would I tell someone they have to go out of their way to get it? Probably not. You know, it's a taco. You get a taco, a lot of great tacos everywhere. If the shell was something special, maybe, but the steak was good. Your fixings you got were good. I'm gonna go up or three. Okay. I'm gonna go, um, let's see. Three points. Mm. Hang on, someone's backing in next to me. Perfect. Thank you for my rating. It's really <laughs> filling up here. It's like Manhattan. Three point eight five. 85 bears. Yeah. Let's win today, bears. I like honestly, I like that. Yeah. Maybe it's that hot salsa too. I like I like the heat on there. The steak itself was good. I mean, my only thing would be now we gotta take out is the steak normally I don't go to Chipotle a lot here. Is the steak normally just like cold? Or would it, it be definitely heated? seems a lot colder? I think I mean it's weird because the guy was making it when I walked in, so it wasn't like it was sitting. I that would think be my ding. Is it really? It felt like it a cold, got cold taco. It felt like a it cold. It got cold really fast. It was flavorful, but it wasn't like you know you go out to a restaurant you get tacos and it's yeah. like all hot and sizzly and. Nice. I think I think it's more so kind of just the way Chipotle does things because they have like all the hot stuff and then they have the cold toppings like the sauce is cold. Yeah, the well, sour cream's cold. Figuring. I think that cooled off the stuff really quickly. Like and a it lot might faster be. A, than I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't terrible that it was cold, but that's probably why it was. It didn't feel like you know. It yeah. felt good, but it felt like we got a takeout, a good takeout taco. I yeah, I mean, I feel like if maybe if we had, if we had gotten it as a burrito, sitting on top of the hot rice, the hot beans, maybe but, that but retains then, the heat better. But then again, in a way though, when you get it hot, your vegetables will wilt. Yeah. So I do like the Christmas of the lettuce in there. That I feel like the I feel like the lettuce was nice. Yeah. Nice no. shredded lettuce. It almost looks like a shredded lo mein or romaine. Lo mein. <laughs> it is romaine. Shredded romaine. It's a so shredded it's, row? Yeah, shredded so it's a different kind of lettuce than normal Usually we get places. the shredded burg, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so upgrade, shredded row. Yeah. I mean, I like this as well. I wasn't expecting the strips to be like such big 
steak strips. Because I'm used bad. to like Chipotle being more like chopped up smaller pieces. So bigger strips, um, definitely not what I was expecting. It's still very good. A lot uh, of What flavor. was the price point for the three tacos? <sighs> <laughs> Did you hear that exhale? That's a Lou just got punched in the pocketbook this Sunday. So at this Chipotle, because Chipotle's they write they yeah. the prices vary. For these three tacos, thirteen sixty. Three tacos, thirteen sixty. So it was like fourteen. You're, and you're looking at tax. a four plus change price point per taco. Yeah, is that like not a, cheap? Not no. happy hour tacos, but I mean no. they were decent size. I mean, mm, I've and had that because no sides. Yeah. No, no mm, chips or anything like that. Tough. No so drink. two of them would be like an eight change, nine dollar price point. And that's not adding that's, anything like queso, which is extra, and or guac, which is extra. I mean, what do we, what do we expect here at Chipotle? High end, posh taco yeah. hut. All right, now you got to, now you, what do you got your rating, and then you got to squaff that thing down yeah. like well, the mukbang they do. That's oh what I want to see. I want to see you doing, doing that. I want to see you doing a one push. No, that's horrible. Do it. Come no. on, Roberto, we need views. We need subs. Oh my God, it's a brand new shirt. I'm well, wearing no, too. come on. I'll get the I'll get the Listen, camera. Okay. We'll put it on TikTok. So, well, what's our TikTok? Our TikTok. Yes, we have a TikTok. TikTok Nothing TikTok. is on there We're yet. We're still. I, well, I, I'm going on. I'm going on a trip to San Diego, so I'll be filming stuff for TikTok out in San Diego. So, Big Lou and Cousin Vito E. If you have a TikTok, follow us on there. That'd be great. We appreciate okay. that. Um, my rating on here. I'm gonna be close to you. I'm gonna go three seven five, just okay. because. Fair. I think the it being cold or cooled down hurts it a lot. If this was like a super hot. Uh, steak out of there, it'd be awesome. What is vibrating in your seat over here? It's this, our group message. The, the car's been vibrating this whole time. It's our group message. Can they hear it in the camera? They're gonna be like, what's that humming? They can probably hear the humming. Well, now that you've made it notice, they're gonna go back and watch well, it. I, I didn't now. know if the car was gonna self-destruct or something. I never had a middle console be so aggressive with me. Oh my God. So yeah, I mean, it's good. I will get it again, probably. I will get it as a burrito. Uh, I'm, and it's still expensive though. Thirteen sixty is expensive. I mean, it's a bummer. I mean, we were at Chipotle. Oh, I would love to smash that right into your face. All the wetness everywhere. That'd be good. All in his beard. Terrible. Then you have like sour cream gray stripes, like I have here. That'd be great. <laughs> Let me hold on to as much darkness in my beard as I can. My God. Yeah, mine went very fast. Yeah, it did. So, I mean, three eight five three seven five. So three eight. Three eight. No, I mean, That's really, still very good. Not bad. I, I mean, and, it had, and to me, it really had to do with the toppings were fresh. Lettuce was fresh. I like the, the I like the way the cheese was shredded. It was a nice thin shred. Yeah. Uh, the tomato and the tomatoes weren't. They did put just enough on, and yeah. I mean, you, it was your fixing. So this is the Big Lou special here. Big right? Lou special. I'll put that up there. How I get my tacos at uh, at Chipotle. So. Yeah, that's the review of the Guajillo. The, gua the Guajillo? Guajillo steak tacos. We got with tacos from Chipotle. So that's it. It's a, it's a good one. Come on and try it while they've got it out here at Chipotle. Uh, and that's going to be the review. So uh, make sure if you're not already subscribed, uh, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell. Get notified when we post new videos. Like the videos. Comment in the videos. Uh, link in the description for all our social medias, including our new TikTok and our t-shirt store. We need some new t-shirts. I'm going on vacation. What do you want me to do? Do we something on my vacation? Yeah. Do it on the plane. When was the last time you did something on your vacation? I never take vacations ever, 24-7. Is that true? Kind no, of. No, it's not. Eh. All right. Life's I'm, a vacation. I'm Big Lou. That's Cousin Fio. And we eat tacos now. We're eating tacos. We're eating wings. We're eating uh, hot chicken tenders on hot dog buns. We really, uh, we're maturing here, Lou.